Fabry disease is a lysosomal storage disease. It, unlike most lysosomal storage disease, it's X-linked. Um, and it was assumed for many years that women would not be affected. However, that turned out not to be the case. Uh, the majority of women, at least with the classical mutations, are in fact affected and will develop significant problems. Um, Fibre disease is rare. The classical form is about one in 40,000 people, or one in 40,000 males, and estimated to be one in 20,000 females. Um, although the numbers aren't real strong on the female side. Uh, the, it's an interesting challenge that there's a later onset form of the disease and that appears to be more common, um, but much harder to identify and particularly harder to identify early. So we need to do some work with that. Um, the classical Fabry disease presents in childhood, and the most common presentations, unfortunately, are fairly nonspecific. So for example, um, probably the most common presentation is burning pain in the hands and feet. Uh, and that can start as early as age two or three, but more typically, um, would start in boys around age five or six and in girls around age nine to ten. Um, if you ask adults with Fabry disease when they had their first symptoms, they're a little bit older than that. But we, in the only study that's been done where we went to families and asked while the patients were still in the pediatric age range, at what age did this have onset? Those were the numbers. Um, other common initial presenting uh, findings are um, chronic fatigue, uh, decreased sweating, and abdominal pain with or without recurrent bouts of diarrhea. So all of these are fairly common presentations and concerns in the pediatric range, so hard to identify. Um, and as the disease progresses, you start to get um, evidence of kidney disease, usually with proteinuria, and evidence of heart disease, which initially is typically um, bradycardia, um, but then progresses to um, other rhythm disturbances, thickening of the heart wall, um, and um, also sometimes valve disease. So again, not things that are highly specific. There are a couple of specific findings that we can see. Um, there's uh, corneal changes that you can see if you use a slit lamp uh, in the vast majority of patients. And angiokeratomas, which are purplish, purple to black spots, on the skin, they're slightly raised and they don't blend with pressure. Uh, they are vascular ectasias, uh, so uh, represent vascular problems or vascular changes. Um, and all, all of those things are seen uh, commonly in, um, in classical Fabry disease. The later onset forms of Fabry disease uh, tend to lack the pain, uh, often will not have angiokeratomas, and in some cases will have uh, findings only limited to adult onset uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So much harder to identify that. Uh, we don't know the actual frequency of the later onset uh, disorders, uh, but in studies um, looking at newborn screening, you get an abnormal newborn screen in as many as uh, one in 4,000 individuals. You know, so that would be much more common 
than the one in 40,000 that you see with the classical disease. It's probably not quite that common because some of the newborn screen abnormalities are decreased enzyme activity, but not um, low enough to be associated with development of disease in most cases. Thank you.